What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're talking about the Garmin Pro 550 e-collar. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. You can also head over to Facebook and Instagram at Flying V Outdoors and follow me over there, always posting content for you guys. So, as you guys can see, I recently made the switch over from my Sport Dog brand e-collars to the Garmin Pro 550 and I'll tell you what, I'm absolutely loving it. It was a great decision. This thing retails at $399. Uh, I bought it from Bass Pro with a $50 rebate, so $350 out the door, not terrible. Now what you're going to get in the box, guys, you're going to get your actual collar itself, you'll get the remote, and then it comes with the charger as well. So easy as that. Um, and then taking a look at this remote, you've got 21 stimulation levels, guys, okay? So 21 levels, low, medium, high power modes, um, and seven levels within each power mode. You got vocal, you got accessory, you got lights, all kinds of good stuff. It also has a built-in bark collar. So right off the bat, guys, just the remote itself, just holding it, you just, it feels better. It feels more well-built. This thing's got a one-mile range um, for the collar, and you can tell that you get what you pay for with this thing. It is pretty freaking wicked. Um, taking a look at the remote, this top button right here is going to be your vocal tone. So no matter what mode you're in, it's always just a vocal beat. Um, the next buttons here is going to be your dog selector switch. So you got your three dogs that you can control, three different collars. You have momentary, accessory, and continuous right here on the receiver. Um, so momentary, you just hit the button no matter how long you hold it. It's just one quick nick. Um, accessory is for your lights on the collar and then continuous is just what it says you hold the button and it keeps going for as long as you hold it up to eight seconds okay um, this bottom button right here is going to be your low power level so if you're on set on a one or a two it's going to be a low one medium is the second button so medium one or two or whatever you're on hold them both together and that's the high power level okay taking a look at the collar itself it's just your regular old collar you got your lights up top um, down here on the bottom is where your charger goes on and then you have prongs. It comes with the short prongs, the long prongs, and then you have your power button. So just hold the power button, it turns on and it beeps and it's good to go. Um, and then you can just do a quick little check. Hit the button right there for accessory. You can turn your lights on and off, which I do like about that. Especially if you take your dogs out at night or for those of you guys who run hounds or uh, coon dogs or anything like that, you can turn the lights on and track your dog that way. So like I said guys, uh, you just hit that top button right there. That's your vocal button. Um, so you can beep it no matter what mode you're in and then um, again you just have one through seven on the range the vibrate as well so you can hear it vibrating there but uh, my favorite thing about this guys is um, you can set it to whatever level so say like a one or a two we've been really just working on like a two um, and compared to the other collars the sport dog brand for the collar for low medium and high you have to actually take the collar off the dog to change from low medium and high so you're stuck working with just that one through seven while the collar's on the dog with this one, I can set it on a two, and we can start off just working on low stimulation. If I need a little bit more stimulation, I don't have to fumble around with this knob at all. I can just hit number two, and we're on medium. Uh, and then if I really need a nick, I can go to three, now or to the high power level. So if that doesn't get the message across, then you can turn it up, of course. But usually that's all we need. I found that we can work on lower stimulation levels like this, and then those hotter nicks, um, are very few and far between now. I also notice this is a lot more consistent with the stimulation. My uh, Sport Dog brand collar, I feel like I had a lot of inconsistencies as far as, you know, I'd hit him with a two and sometimes he wouldn't notice it, another time he acted like he just got shot. So there was definitely some inconsistencies there with that Sport Dog collar and the older it got, or the lower the battery got on it, the more inconsistent it seemed to be. The battery life on this thing seems to be amazing. They claim 24 hour battery life um, and I believe it I haven't had it go dead yet so can't complain about that whatsoever now that may not seem like a big deal if you have to take the collar off but the greatest thing is you don't have to sit here and fool around with this knob right here I mean you can just set it to whatever and you can keep your eyes on the dog the whole time keep the remote in your hand and it just it feels more comfortable more natural uh, compared to the sport dog collars, how small the receivers are, or the dog trays or anything, unless you get into the higher brands of those. But I definitely love this remote. Now taking a look back at the collar, guys, once it's on, if you just hold this down, it'll turn blue, and then um, it'll beep. So now it's in bark mode. So it's a bark collar now, no more e-collar. That's awesome because you, when you're done training and you're throwing them back on the truck, you can just hold that down, turn on the bark collar, and then you have your bark collar on and ready to go. And you don't have to worry about it. He can also just wear this around the house so he's used to wearing his collar all day. 
Uh, the only downside to the bark collar built into this is once you have the bark collar on, you lose all functions for the actual e-collar. So to get the e-collar back, you have to hold it down again and um, switch it back over. The cool thing with this bark collar, though, is when you hold it down at the end, it's going to flash and beep and tell you how many barks exactly it corrected on your dog. I do like the built-in bark collar. I wish you could use bark collar and stimulation at the same time for situations like hunting um, to help keep whining and noise down, but have the, have the nicks available when you need them. But it's not a deal breaker, so. I haven't noticed any inconsistencies or false shocks with the bark collar that's built into it as well, so that is a plus side to it. But as you guys can see, I mean, it's a well-built collar. You got way more control of your dog with it, and, and I love all the factors that are built into it, um, and the fact that I can just hold it firmly in my hand, and it just, you know, I don't have to look at it to use it. It's comfortable, it just feels right. The only bad thing I have to say is just about the bark collar not being able to use stimulation while you're using the bark collar as well. But like I said, I can learn to live with that. So compared to the Sport Dog um, that I did a review on the 425, this is in a different playing field. So it's not fair to do a side-by-side -side comparison of them. That's an entry-level collar. Um, I would still recommend that. But at the same time, if you plan on progressing your dog and getting into bigger schemes, bigger fields, um, I would go ahead and just bite the bullet and spend the extra money um, and get one that you're going to use forever. I, it's my first Garmin that I've owned, and I can't complain about it. I truly like it, and any more collars that I buy, I'll probably just buy more receivers uh, because I'm a big fan of this one for sure. If you guys are interested in picking one up, I'll leave a link down below for it. Um, you can head over and get yourself one or check them out get some more information on them if you need it If you got any questions about it uh, more about the other callers Just drop down below leave me a comment or find me on Facebook and Instagram at Flying Me Outdoors Shoot me a message several of you have before and uh, as you can tell I'm more than willing to answer your questions guys Again, if you found anything in this video useful Just give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and stick around But again, I appreciate y'all for watching. Hope everyone has a great day and we'll see you next time on Flying V Outdoors